What's going on guys, it's Charles Proud of you, bringing you a brand new video. You're probably wondering what this video is about. If you found this video through Twitter, you probably already know what this video is about. You guys are getting scammed. You are definitely 100% getting scammed. So let's just pretty much go over it. If you don't know what this video is about, I'm gonna explain it the best that I can. There's this LAN eSport organization that is supposedly hosting a $25,000 LAN and I'm actually gonna look them up. They're called Dallas Esports on Twitter. One of my teammates linked me this tournament that they were hosting, saying that it was in Dallas at Fair Park in the Food and Fiber building, but first they said it was a different building and there's just so much confusion. I don't know what's real anymore, but we're gonna go into it right now. So we're on their Twitter. They've just been retweeting a bunch of free agent tweets, people that are trying to put teams together for this LAN event that is probably not even gonna happen, which is bullshit because they're selling passes already for like $280 or 260. I know that the the max price is like 300, but it's on sale right now. I think that's ridiculous. So here's what I got so far. If you take a look at some of their tweets, it says that the venue that they said they were going to book at has been double booked and Fair Park made a mistake and they're trying to get different venues. Uh, the only problem is they're selling passes already and they don't even have a venue set, which in my opinion is really, really wrong. They don't have the event already already planned out after they made the announcement. It, it's just appalling to me and stupid. So I wanted to show you guys the red flags that I saw right away, why I thought it was a scam and why I actually looked into it. I called Fair Park, I called two buildings, I called the main building, but I called Fair Park, the official number on Google, I'll look it up in a second. And then they transferred me over to the building that Dallas Esports was saying the venue was at. And they said that there was no event scheduled there in that building. And so obviously, what am I gonna think that it's a scam. There's no event being held and they don't even know what esports is. They were so confused when I was talking to them. So we're going to give them a call on camera today just to show you guys because a lot of people didn't believe me. They said, oh, you don't have proof for this. I called them. I just didn't record it. So we're going to go into this right now. Um, first red flag is they don't have a lot of followers. Okay. This is a, a brand new organization. Before I even looked into this, they only had like 120 followers. I think it was, you know, somewhere around there. Even then, that's not a lot of followers, especially to put up a $25,000 event. My next red flag is when you go to their website, there's a few discrepancies. So the event on their Twitter says that it's a $25,000 event. It says that in the informational post. If you go to the website and you scroll down, it says play to win $20,000. I don't know what the prize pool is really. Is it $25,000 or is it $20,000? I don't know. When you go to their passes, they're on sale for $275 right now now max price is 320 this is like the early bird price or something like that i'm not buying it i still think it's a scam my next discrepancy is if you actually go back to their twitter you click on following you can actually find the owner of the organization so it is at mlg gizmo if you go to his twitter it says in his bio ceo of dallas esports and i've actually played with gizmo okay he's a pretty average player it looks like he tweeted something about me i haven't read that yet not a big deal but but what I found was really weird is that this is the same guy that cheated several free wins on game battles. I know a lot of people did this, I get that, okay? But he literally cheated at least 90% of his matches and has 8,000 pro points. He hasn't got any pro points from a 2K. He hasn't got any pro points from a CWL event. It's all code blues. If you're unfamiliar with code blues, it's just getting free wins on game battles. It's cheating, okay? So this cheater is the same guy that's hosting a 20 $25,000 event. This guy's only 20 years old. How is he going to put up $25,000 plus venue costs and whatever uh, videography or streaming or casters to come out? This is going to get upwards to like $35,000 in total. And also if you go to their website, it says that they're going to be donating all of the profits that they make off of this event to charity. So they're making no profit. No one's making money. They're just pulling this money out of their ass. It sounds like a lot of bullshit, just a, a pitch for people people to buy passes and I really think it's ridiculous. So we're gonna give Fair Park a call right now just to show you guys that this is BS. So let's go to Google type in Fair Park Dallas. We're gonna click on Fair Park. Let's see, they close at 10 p.m. It is 6.42 p.m. Eastern time. I realize that this is central. So we're gonna give them a call. Just ask them a couple questions, see what's going on. Okay, there it is. We typed it incorrectly. Gotta focus back on my face, and we're gonna give him a call. This is Fair Park Administration, 
not best. We're right on the phone at the moment, so we missed the message at the tone place, and we'll return your call just as soon as possible. Okay, so as you can see, they weren't at the phone. We're gonna wait for a call back, and uh, yeah. All we can do is wait now. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day. When I ended the video last night, it was getting pretty late. The people at the phone probably just weren't there. I didn't get a call back until this morning. It says on my phone at 10.13 a.m. So we're actually gonna call them right now. I'm actually dialing the number. Hopefully you can see that. Hi, um, I was wondering if I could talk to you about uh, some information on an event going on at your venue. Okay, which one? Um, it's going on, it's supposed to be going on November 17th. I'm not sure if I talked to you a couple of days ago, but... Um, you did. Okay, alright. So I'm calling back because um, there's been a, a little bit of drama going on on Twitter and I just wanted to clarify everything that's kind of happening right now. So let's see. So the event hoster called uh, Dallas Esports is supposed to be hosting an event there. They said in the food and fiber pavilion, but at first they were saying that it was going to be in the Ember Ricarda building. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, okay. But, um, could you... Yeah, okay, so I'm pretty sure it's not going on and that's just what I wanted to clarify really um, They were posting on Twitter saying that there could be a possible double booking on the event. Is that even possible at your venue? Okay, you need to speak with our sales. Okay Yeah, that's fine Um, location the event was scheduled to be held in the food and, food and fiber pavilion. Okay. Does that sound it legitimate? Called? Uh, it's called, um, the organization name is called Dallas Esports. How do you spell that, please? Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. All right. So it looks like they're going to relay my information and this organization to their sales department and hopefully get a call back pretty soon. Again, all we can do is wait. That's pretty much all we got right now. Okay, so it's about 45 minutes after I recorded the last clip. I never got a call back from the sales team, but Dallas Esports did post a tweet on their Twitter. It says, it seems we were not able to keep the same venue, but we have other options and we will have a solid answer for everyone very soon. Please bear with us, you guys are awesome. So I'm just gonna wait until they announce a new venue. I think that it's still wrong that they're selling passes before they have a venue even scheduled. I still think it's scam, I don't think it's legit. I think they're that they're just gonna keep leading this on until they get more past sales They're tweeting out other organizations that already have a team together for this event that it doesn't even have a venue yet I'm just gonna leave it at that in this video I don't think I'm gonna get a call back from the sales team just because I'm not giving them any business So why are they gonna want to call me back? I'm just here to chat about some event that they've never heard of and I don't think they really want to do that so I'm just gonna wait maybe a couple days. This might be the last video I post about it, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.